There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below, but for now, today's question. The amount of blood in a woman's body increases, according to the journal Circulation. A woman's blood volume increases by as much as 45% during pregnancy. This is an extra amount of blood that the heart must pump throughout the body. Video, Blood Pressure Exercises vs LCB The left ventricle, left side of the heart that does a significant amount of pumping, becomes thicker and larger. This temporary effect allows the heart to work harder to support the increased blood volume. This condition can cause serious damage to your organs including your brain and kidneys. Preeclampsia is also known as toxemia or pregnancy-induced hypertension. Preeclampsia with seizures becomes eclampsia. This can be fatal. Dietary guidelines for pregnant women vary from person to person. Speak with a nutritionist who will keep your specific height and weight in mind when creating a nutrition plan for you. Blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury, MHG, and is written systolic over diastolic. For example, 120 80ths of a millimeter Hg, or 120 over 80. According to the most recent guidelines, a normal blood pressure is less than 120 80ths of a millimeter Hg. Hypertension is blood pressure that is greater than 140 90. For people over age 60, high blood pressure is defined as 150 90 or greater. Prehypertension consists of blood pressure that is 120 to 139 80 to 89 80. Blood pressure may increase or decrease, depending on your age, heart condition, emotions, activity, and the medications you take. One high reading does not mean you have high blood pressure. It is necessary to measure your blood pressure at different times, while you are resting comfortably for at least 5 minutes. To make the diagnosis of hypertension, at least three readings that are elevated are usually required. You are still not diagnosed hypertensive but pre-hypertensive. You need to check when you rest and without you are under stress. Change your lifestyle such as exercises, diet control and stay free from stress then your blood pressure will become to less than 120 80. Your current blood pressure is at a pre-hypertension level. Some years ago the powers that be tried to lower the normal blood pressure to 120-80. This placed 34 million Americans on the blood pressure rolls. That became a problem, as it was difficult dealing with the millions who already had hypertension let alone add millions more. So they reneged and brought blood pressure back to 140-90 to assess. Now it is hypertension. There was a 11-year definitive study on hypertension ending in 2003 which said that hypertension was essentially too much fluid in the body's vascular system. It was blamed on the chemical renin. This is a hormone developed by the adrenal glands above the kidneys. It regulates the fluid the body retains. Too much renin means too much fluid retained. So the initial approach to hypertension treatment was a mild diuretic. If not controlled then an anti-renin medication is indicated. Something like lisinopril. 2.5 mg and 5 mg are kidney protective doses and do very little for hypertension. 10 mg begins hypertension treatment. If the full strength of lisinopril doesn't work the next Next class of antihypertension medication is the calcium channel blockers. Amalodipine has achieved the best of this class 2.5 mg to 10 mg. Finally, if these three have not accomplished control, then beta blockers are suggested. Carvedal is a selective beta blocker that does not affect the beta 2 receptors controlling bronchial dilatation. If these four medications don't control hypertension then it is possible that the hypertension is not simply essential. Other vascular defects may be involved such as renal stenosis. The other component of hypertension is hereditary. The example is that in the entire western hemisphere blacks suffer three times more hypertension than the corresponding whites. In Africa such differences don't exist. What happened? Apparently while transporting the black slaves from Africa to the Western Hemisphere 40% died of dehydration aboard those terrible slave ships. Those who survived were Hyrenean people. Leaving the ships they had Hyrenean children. That 400-year-old legacy has made hypertension in our black community a serious public health issue. Higher levels of kidney failure and congestive heart failure are noted. In these communities, other cultures have Hyrenean too. So it is hereditary.
Why do you feel your pressure needs to be decreased? Have you consulted a physician? Does hypertension run in your family and if so what was the underlying mechanism? I've no idea what you are correlating with drinking lots of milk and eating a banana. Is that something you feel is useful for regulating your BP? People who take potassium sparing medications to control blood pressure often eat banana to try to keep their potassium WNL but it is not to affect their BP. You state you are no the obese but give no indication as to your height or weight. If you are concerned or someone you know and trust feels this I should too high for you, definitely see a physician or at least chat with one online. Lots of sites for this and you will have an accurate assessment. It won't go away but you can keep a controlled diet and eat more vegetables and fruits. I also recommended you to walk and increase your physical activity. There's an app where you can add your daily meals, blood pressure measures and it can measure your physical activity stepwise. There's the link. Circle. Care. Family Care app. Circle Care Family Engagement and Support.